Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to free up storage on your iPod Touch. So the first step is you want to open up the settings application and you're going to scroll down until you see general. Tap into general and tap into iPod Touch storage. So inside of here, you're going to see all of the apps which are taking up the most storage on your iPod. And with that, you can delete them, all that good stuff. So this is the first tip. I'll go through the other two tips later on. But first we can see here all the apps you have on your iPod Touch and how much storage they're taking up. So let's take a look at this one, Fortnite. This is the uh, uh, largest file uh, game even on my iPod. And we have two options to free up storage. We have the offload app here and we have the delete app. So what does offload app do? Well, what it's going to do is it's going to remove the Fortnite app from your home screen. However, all of the app data for Fortnite will still stay on your iPod. So what is app data? Well, your accounts and uh, any information or any extra files you have downloaded while inside of the application. So this will delete some storage, but not all of it. Uh, when it comes to delete app here, it's going to delete the app and all of that app data. So if you need to free up most amount of storage possible, just tap on delete app here, but make sure that if you are going to tap on delete, that you recognize that your app data will be lost unless it's stored in the iCloud. So just keep that in mind when you tap on delete, but this will delete the uh, uh, most files, therefore saving the most storage and offload app will delete some of the files from all of them. Your app data will be saved. Just keep that in mind. Now, once you've gone through here, you can also delete, you know, these regular apps, these default Apple apps, like the music app, stuff like that. Now, if you do end up deleting these apps, just keep in mind that you can always re-download them from the App Store at any time. So it's not a big deal if you delete stuff like, you know, Weather, if you never use Weather, or if you, you know, delete the podcast application, for example, you can always re-download them at any time. So do not worry. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to check the Files app in your Photos. So let's open up Photos. And you can see here, we may have some photos or videos that we you know, don't need anymore. So what we need to do is just tap on select. All we can do is you can swipe your finger to select multiple at once. Now, if you have a, um, a lot of photos, what you can do is you can swipe and then you can just uh, hold your finger near the top. And what it will do is you can see it will automatically scroll for you. So you can select all the videos, all the photos you don't need. And let's say I select uh, these ones right here. What you do is you just tap on the delete here and then delete, and then that will delete those photos or videos. Now, the next thing to do is check the recently deleted. So let me just put some stuff in recently deleted because when the photos or when the videos are in recently deleted, they are still on your iPod. So if we go to albums and then we scroll down until we see recently deleted, all this stuff right here is still taking up storage on my device, even though I deleted it. After 30 days, it'll be permanently gone and the storage will be freed up. But for you can see the 26 days or the 29 days, these photos or videos are going to be taking up the storage on my iPod. So you just want to tap on select and you're going to see here, delete all, tap on delete all and then delete four photos and then they'll all be removed off of your iPod. The final thing you want to do is you want to open up the files app and the files app here has a bunch of stuff which you may want to remove. So if you ever download stuff off of Safari or any web browser, you're gonna have stuff in the files app. So what you wanna do is you wanna to navigate to the browse and you wanna tap on on my iPod and these are all the files which are stored on your iPod. So if there's any file here, let's say in downloads, which is large and you don't need it anymore, you can just long press on it and then delete it. There will also be folders on my iPod where some app data may be, let's say you downloaded an emulator, uh, you're gonna have you know a bunch of games maybe inside of that emulator all you could consider is deleting those games inside those folders. So let's say you found that file you want to delete, just long press on it. It's a bit glitchy, so we'll just try that one more time. And you want to see this menu. Scroll to the bottom until you see delete. There we go. And then that file is deleted. Now, of course, just like the Photos app, you have the recently deleted. So you want to scroll back to the home page, recently deleted. And you just want to long press on that file. Sometimes it's a bit glitchy, like sometimes it won't properly long press. But you just want to see this menu here, which says delete now. Tap on this and then delete and then that file is permanently deleted off of your device and you will save some storage. Another extra tip is if you've ever jailbroken, there will be some files which are stored inside of the files and stuff like that. And those files do not actually show up inside of this area right here, the iPod Touch. And those files usually show up as system data or other storage. And obviously that's a big deal because it's not going to help you delete it. So what we need to do is if you've ever jailbroken before, you just want to go into the files application and you just want to navigate to documents and you, you will have a bunch of files there, you may have a large file size, you just want to delete those that may be recently deleted, if that's the case, permanently delete those files off of your device and then that'll fix you know, the other storage issue. 
If you do have the other storage issue, but you also didn't jailbreak your device, well, that means the previous owner jailbroke. So what you want to do is you just want to update the latest version of iOS, and usually that will solve the issue. In the worst case, you may need to just do a full factory reset. I have a tutorial on how to do that. I'll leave that tutorial in the description down below. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.